My mother left once before and then came back. And this was the second time, which I think was the, the permanent one. I was getting ready to go to school and uh, I kissed her good goodbye and got on the bus and left. And that was the end of it. And I came home and she wasn't home. I asked my uncle where she, where she was and he didn't know. The next day, she wasn't there and she never was there anymore. I don't think she expected to not come back. I think it just happened. We went to family court and they asked me if I saw or heard from my mother since she, and I said no, and that was it. I should have said that something's wrong. I think she's dead. I think somebody killed her. They have to find out. And they found the pocketbook, like by Middle Island somewhere, by the Pine Barrens. They could have searched that area right away. Maybe they would have found her. I think it was just a big cover-up. Everything was a big secret back then. I know a lot more now than I did before. A lot more is coming out. People, you know, want to protect the people that are left behind, but I'm left behind too. They want to be protected. Nobody protected me. If it was their mother, how would they feel? They just swept it under the rug and didn't care. It's been 51 years, I think it's long enough.